Hi everyone, welcome back to Belizean Vibes and we will be making escabeche today. And so as you can see, we have all our ingredients. We have our seasoned chicken, onions, vinegar, peppers, jalapeno in the can, fresh jalapeno, garlic, salt, pepper, oregano. Let's start. We have our seasoned chicken in the pot and I just lightly brown my chicken prior to making the soup. As you can see, chicken lightly brown. I will then remove the chicken and set aside. While the chicken is browning, I have a pot of hot water boiling on the side. That water will be used to make the escabeche soup. Remove the chicken pieces, as you can see, set aside. I have my sliced onions, lightly browned chicken and seasoning and peppers ready to go. In the same pot that you brown your chicken, put half the sliced onions for the escabeche, just half. And you lightly saute the onions in this pot. Okay, it's just getting this, the onions with a little flavor and you're gonna set aside. You do not want to get your onions soft and wilted. As you can see, See how crunchy they are with a little flavor set aside. Now we're gonna add our hot water that was previously boiling in the same pot where we brown our chicken and saute the onions a couple minutes ago. We add our hot water. I use about 10 to 12 cups. It depends on how much soup you would like. You can adjust as it starts cooking. In the pot of hot water, I start seasoning with some onions, garlic, fresh jalapeno, just to get the pot ready for the escabeche. I use the dark jalapeno, dark green, and the light yellow, as you can see in the video. Start seasoning your escabeche with some salt. I use um, salt, I use white pepper, I use oregano dried oregano, just kind of crumble it in your hand a little bit, add to the pot, some vinegar from the canned jalapeno. Make sure you use the whole jalapenos in the can. It has better flavor than the sliced ones, okay? I add a couple canned jalapenos also. This all depends on the spiciness of how you like your soup. We will then add some white vinegar. In this soup, I add about three quarter cups of vinegar. If you like it with, a, with more sourness, feel free to add some more, but go slowly, okay? You do not want to make your soup too sour. I then add some of the onions and the carrots and so on from the canned jalapeno. We then add our white pepper. I add two teaspoons of white pepper to my escabeche, okay? The pot will start boiling. All these seasonings will just blend together. I add a little bit of black pepper. You stir it up a little bit and there you go. That's the base for your escabeche soup. You don't want to put nothing more in that boiling water. Start putting the chicken, the same chicken that you lightly browned earlier and set aside. We're gonna put those in the soup now to make the escabeche broth, okay? I like to use a whole chicken and some breast, some filet breast meat. That way everyone can get the choice of chicken they like. I like to use the chicken with the bones, so I use the whole chicken. The bones add a great flavor to the soup, okay? So you can see we have it all together now. We have all the seasonings, we have our onion, garlic, salt, pepper, oregano. We have the vinegar. We have our fresh jalapeno, canned jalapeno. We have the chicken that was previously brown. Look at how beautiful this is. So now your escabeche soup, the flavors are coming together. You can start tasting and adjusting the flavors as needed. If you want more salt, more vinegar, more pepper, Okay, go slow with the peppers now because if the peppers burst in the soup, some jalapenos can be very spicy. Continue to boil this for about 30, 40 minutes. I then remove some of the chicken parts because I like them to have a more brown color and that's a matter of preference, okay? 
I take them out, put them in the broiler just for a few minutes, just for a few minutes to get a nice golden color as you can see in the video. I put those pieces of chicken back in the soup along with the sauteed onions that we had previously sauteed in the pot. We now put that at the end of preparing your escabeche. That way your escabeche will have a nice crunch. The onions will have a nice crunch to it. You know, they're not too wilted. Again, it's a matter of preference. That's how I like my escabeche. If you like your onions very soft, continue to boil until it softens to your liking. And there you go. Look how beautiful this is. It's rich. It's flavorful, delicious. Make sure you serve it with some fresh corn tortillas. Enjoy. Thanks for joining Belizean Vibes again on YouTube. Make sure to like and share. Thanks so much. Please make some escabeche. Enjoy. Thanks again.